Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce about uh, CW radar, which is nothing but continuous wave radar. CW radar stands for continuous wave radar. I already told you when I was discussing about pulse uh, uh, radar. There are several types of radar systems available. Each and every radar system is named based on the type of the waveform it emits. Type of the waveform it emits. So in CW radar, in CW radar, what type of waveform it is emitting? Continuous wave. Continuous wave will be emitted to detect the presence of objects. Okay, this radar system is used to, it is used to find the velocity of moving targets, velocity of moving targets. So, CW radar main purpose is to find the velocity of the moving target. That means, can it find radar, uh, sorry, can it find the range? Can a CW radar find range? Answer is no. Okay. It cannot calculate the range. It can calculate only velocity. It is used to find the velocity but not the range. But whereas in the previous case which we have discussed the pulse radar, the pulse radar was used to calculate the pulse radar was used to calculate the range but not velocity. So, quite opposite case with the CW radar. Okay. That means, how to calculate the velocity? How to calculate the velocity? We cannot directly calculate the velocity by using the radar system, but we can calculate the Doppler frequency shift. We can calculate and we cannot calculate. We cannot calculate the velocity relative to velocity directly first we have to calculate first we have to calculate what is that frequency doppler frequency we need to calculate doppler frequency ft already i have explained in the previous video the relation between fd and vr so, if we find this CFD from the radar system, we can calculate the relative velocity very easily because the relation is FD is equal to 2VR by lambda. So, with this relation, we can calculate the relative velocity through the use of FD. Okay. So, this is what the introduction of the CW radar. What is the main purpose of the CW radar? CW radar is used to find the velocity but not the range and it is used to find the velocity of moving targets if any stationary target is there the result of the output from the cw radar is simply zero coming to the block diagram of cw radar so this is the block diagram uh, <coughs> see here the block diagram of pulse radar is very complex compared to the block diagram of cw radar because in the pulse radar, we need to modulate the signal and transmit the pulse waveform, pulse modulated signal. But whereas in the CW radar, the transmitter needs only continuous wave generator and amplifier, that's it. It, uh, it does not need any other additional equipment in the transmitting section. This is the transmitter. Okay, every time we need a transmitter, receiver and antenna. This is the transmitting section and this is the receiving section. Okay, so this is the transmitting section and it is the receiving section. So in the transmitting section, we have only a continuous wave transmitter with a frequency F0. So whenever we are dealing with the moving targets, the frequency always necessary to consider because the Doppler frequency shift FD occurs only with the transmitter frequency F0. Okay, whereas in the receiver, we have a detector which is nothing but a mixer and a beat frequency amplifier and as well as indicator 
I will explain each and everything. So, transmitter, as the name clearly tells that a CW radar is used to transmit continuous wave. That's why in the transmitting section, we need a CW transmitter. That's it. We, don't, we do not need any extra modulating circuits. So, a CW radar, a CW transmitter with a frequency F0. F0 is nothing but transmitter signal frequency. Now, F0 is going towards the object through this, through this antenna. What is the purpose of antenna? Electromagnetic signal, electrical signal will be converted into electromagnetic signal and vice versa. So, this frequency will be radiated into the free space with antenna and F0. Consider a moving target. This is the moving target. Okay, that moving target may be in forward direction or in backward direction. That means it may approach the radar system or it may go away from the radar system. Okay, in both the ways it can move. So, away, moving away from the radar system, then we need to append minus FD. Then we need to append minus FD with the transmitter signal frequency. Going, moving towards the radar system, then we need to append plus FD with the transmitter signal frequency. Okay. So, minus FD means F0 minus FD and plus FD means F0 plus FD. Okay, so if the target is moving away from the radar system, the resultant frequency that received by the radar system is F0 minus FD. If the target is moving towards the radar system, then the resultant frequency received by the radar system is F0 plus FD. So, in general, in general, we will consider F0 plus or minus FD without stating the movement of the target, whether it is towards or away. Okay, so in general, we will consider it as F0 plus or minus FD. So that F0 plus or minus FD will be collected by this antenna and going towards this receiver. Okay, so F0 plus or minus FD. And what about this F0? F0 is the transmitter signal frequency. Now, yes, there is no duplexer involved at this particular point. There is a leakage signal from the transmitting section towards the receiving section. Okay, so yeah, the mixer or a detector which is connected to the first, first of the receiver that receives both of the signals. One is coming from the receiver signal F0 plus or minus FD. And another one is a leakage signal that is coming from the transmitting section. Okay. So, both are going towards the mixer. This mixer is known as homodyne mixer. Homodyne mixer. What do you mean by homodyne mixer? Which is nothing but opposite action for the hex, uh, heterodyne mixer. Hetero mix, heterodyne mixer is nothing but which is used to mix two different frequencies. Hetero, different. Which is used to... Uh, add two different frequencies, but whereas homodyne mixer which is used to add both are of same frequencies F0 F0 Okay, so this F0 plus or minus FD and FD, F0 these two are added up and adding is nothing but it may be a subtraction or addition or a multiplication So here we are performing subtraction so that F0 F0 gets cancelled and only the frequency will be having that is FD suppose with the same block diagram, consider a target that is a stationary target. Consider a target a stationary target. What is the resultant frequency? F not only. Fd will not come. Fd will be there only for the moving targets. If, F, if the target is a stationary target, the resultant frequency is same as the transmitter signal frequency. So, F not, F not. Both are F not. Yes, both signals will be F0, F0 and F0 going towards the mixer. Mixer goes 0 with the output because FD is not there for the stationary targets. For moving targets, some FD is there which is nothing but Doppler frequency. That single frequency component is also known as a beat frequency. Beat frequency are also known as Doppler frequency. That is amplified and then given to the indicator. Okay, so indicator is nothing but here it may be a pair of earphones. It may be earphones or speakers, whichever is convenient to listen the sound 
change in the sound wave is nothing but indicator we are using here so pair of earphones or it may be a speaker or any device which is used to show the changes with respect to the sound so here we are using a beat frequency amplifier to amplify the doppler frequency component and went to the indicator hope it is clear okay this is the block diagram of cw radar continuous wave radar coming to the beat frequency amplifier frequency characteristics uh, which is beat frequency is nothing but single frequency beat frequency is nothing but single frequency so that's why these bandwidth the bandwidth of this beat frequency amplifier is also very narrow bandwidth okay it should not allow any other frequencies it has to allow only the required beat frequency ft required beat frequency ft okay so these are the characteristics and explanation of uh, block diagram explanation of the cw radar continuous wave radar see here now uh, what we what is the parameter we have found we have found the parameter fd we have not at discussed any of the parameter related to velocity if you go into the block diagram nowhere we have discussed about velocity we have completely studied about doppler frequency component fd so with this fd what about the fd we have got with this fd we can calculate the relative velocity using this formula to vr by lambda that means vr is equal to lambda ft by 2 so using this formula we can calculate what is the amount of relative velocity with which the target is moving using this cw radar okay once again i am repeating cw radar is used to find the velocity but not the range okay where opposite case with the pulse radar pulse radar with is used to find the range but not the velocity okay both are opposite to each other thank you